Hello, ladies and gentlemen out there in Facebook land. Sorry, a little close. I'm back in downtown, I guess. Kylo? I forget where we're at. We'll just say we'll just say Kona. How's that? Yeah. Are you keep going? Yeah, we just had uh, lunch at a place called uh, what was it called? The Canoe Club, I believe. Kona Canoe Club. It was very good, right by the beach. Very cool. It's very hot here. Um, I, I guess it's unseasonably hot for for Kona, Hawaii. It's like 91 degrees or something like that and with the humidity it makes it kind of difficult to be outside for too long. But anyway, enough about me. Let's go ahead and flip that camera around here. Oh, we looked at Uncle Billy's Kona Bay when I, we were looking at hotels, honey. Right there it is. That's, that's that Uncle Billy's hotel. Uncle Billy. It's got a cute little like uh, outdoor area here. That's cool. So there's a shopping plaza here. Some neat little shops. I guess there's another resort here called the Kona Inn. And they kind of, I guess, built this plaza around it. Like a bunch of neat little local shops. On the other side of the street, Boss Frogs. I guess surfing, scuba diving. Places here advertising for activities in Kona. Fishing. And then you got this guy over here. Yeah. If you need any donkey balls, there's a place to go right there. There's a neat little downtown area here by the coast. We didn't go this far yesterday. We went as far as the Scandinavian shave ice, which is around, on the around, coming up here at the corner. You can't go to Hawaii without going to one of these places. It's a requirement. Neat, neat old house over here. Oh, it's a gift shop. That's right. We're coming up on the uh, Queen's Palace. Around the corner here. So we were here yesterday. If you watched the video that I posted. <clears throat> this is a royal palace. sign there. Oh, it's open. This gate wasn't open yesterday. Oh, Steph is asking if we saw Daniel today. He's right there. Say hi, Daniel. <laughs> Steph was asking if we saw Daniel today. Hi. Say hi! He did, sort of. <laughs> so that house. Room 312. No, yeah. Oh. Okay, there, go there goes Daniel. Bye, Daniel. 
Oh, he's wa waving to Facebook land. Yeah, Steph said hi, bud. Alright, so... I think I want to go walk around here. It's open. Okay. So I guess we're going into the palace. I don't know if they'll let us record in here, but if not, I'll... Steph, we need to get you to Hawaii. You've never been yet. That's right. Faith has been here. Well, to Hawaii at least. Wow. It feels like you walk and step in here and it gets like 10 degrees cooler. So. I'm afraid to film in here, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it for now and maybe come back when we're done. All right, we're back. So we didn't go inside the palace. Now we're just on the other side here. But like I said, the gate yesterday was closed, so we kind of got a first look here at the palace from the courtyard, which is pretty cool. This definitely looks like an addition to the palace here. We got the troughs and all that stuff here, so don't know what the story is here on this. Probably because we didn't do, elect to do the tour. That's all right. But this is really cool. This courtyard here. All right. What's next? Okay. Looks like they had a cellar down here. So, again, if you didn't see the video I posted yesterday, across the street, actually, yeah, the palm tree is kind of in the way there. I guess this, this is the first church of Hawaii here. Built in the mid-1800s, I believe. I'd have to go back and look at the plaque, but uh, really neat. You can, that spire there, you can see from our hotel, which is probably about a mile from here pretty cool so Daniel went back to our hotel to cool off and rest a little bit he's been actually he's been in <clears throat> Hawaii for about a week now working uh, at uh, Big Island Farms doing research it's an internship for uh, a month for the university so I take it take you're not up for another shave ice no wait okay so we're gonna wait on the shave ice maybe tonight okay my ice cream melted too fast yeah yeah wait for the sun to go down maybe that was a slide. Right oh yeah, 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 yeah. The body glove. Mm -hmm. Here, can I zoom in so you can see what we're looking at here? That boat right there has a slide on it. store there's where we'll be going later sorry there you go yeah it's a Scandinavian shave ice busy 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 time of day right now it looks like Kind of hoping we might see uh, Surf Kitty again, but I don't, I don't think we'll be that lucky. Uh, yesterday we saw a kitten walking along this uh, seawall here. Turn 
seawall right here. More seawall. Well, might be able to catch some waves here in a second. I caught some good ones yesterday. It's not too wavy right now. Let's see. Eh, maybe. Yeah, waves aren't as strong. So earlier, before I started recording, and I don't see it now, so it's probably underwater, there was a submarine out here. True story. It uh, was pretty small, so I'm guessing it's some kind of like tourist type of thing. Oh, here we got a bigger wave. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's probably some kind of like uh, sightseeing kind of submarine thing. But it was pretty cool to see a submarine just chilling on the water here. to the, the end of the sidewalk here pretty soon. Our hotel is going to be around the corner here to the right. I don't think anybody's on the live stream. It doesn't look like it. Kids out here swimming in the bay. They were jumping off the pier yesterday. We were at a beach, it was actually it's a state park yesterday called Hapuna. And there's some uh, rather tallish cliffs, I don't know, they're not that tall. Maybe about 20 feet. Anyway, there's some cliffs there <clears throat> next to the beach and there were kids jumping, doing cliff jumps off of it yesterday. I wanted to join in but couldn't convince Marissa to go with me. Yeah, not everybody knows that story. So we went to Key West for, uh, was it for your birthday? That was three years ago, I think. Three years ago, we went to Key West for Marissa's birthday, and we did a tourist thing and did the snorkeling tour. And took, they took us out on a boat to the Coral Reef off the uh, coast of Key West. Anyway, so we take a boat ride out to the, the reef took about 45 minutes or so to get out there so it's not really that close and uh, when we got there we all got in the water with our snorkeling gear and it was kind of choppy the water was a little choppy I have to admit it wasn't wasn't like really calm yeah okay that's a little bit of exaggeration yeah anyway so so I was looking down into the water, looking into the reef, and uh, saw some of the coral. And then I heard somebody behind me, I heard my wife yelling that she couldn't breathe. And uh, the water apparently was choppy enough that it was splashing into her snorkel. And she was inhaling the water, and she started to panic. <clears throat> So, I turned around and swam to her. She uh, was trying to calm her down and she threw off her snorkeling gear and just let it sink to the bottom. And uh, 
I remembered my water safety skills and, and scooped her up and started swimming her back to the boat. And uh, the lifeguard that was on there threw down some noodles for her and she ended up, oh, there's a little gecko. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know if you can see it. In the reflection here. There he is. Now moving. He's tiny. Tiny. Oh, there he is. So anyway, yeah. So I had to rescue her. Um, the other part of that story was is that we weren't probably going to go back in the water much longer anyway because there was a huge school of jellyfish in the water and I don't know they were probably a half a foot in diameter they weren't very big but they were all over the place so I saw them when I first started looking into the reef and I'm sure it didn't help your namaste either when no, all I got saw, really seasick, remember? I yeah so anyway so yeah we got out got out went to the boat and uh, I guess the rules were once you're out you can't go back in which didn't matter because there's no way I was going back in with a bunch of jellyfish half of the people on the tour boat got stung by them so probably a good thing that we got out when we did on a positive note on the way back or was it on the way there? there. On the way there, Marissa was the first one that spotted the school of dolphins jumping out of the water, so that was really cool. So, yeah, this is our, our hotel here. It's uh, the Kona Seaside Hotel. Bunch of kids in the pool. The pool looks actually really nice. Well, now maybe we'll film the lobby and then turn it off for this video. The lobby is actually pretty cool for the hotel. Really cool deco. There's a uh, complimentary bikes if you want to bike around Kona. Front desk. Elevator, so I guess that's it.